What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It has been a couple days since I've uploaded, but I had a couple things going on with my family. I had to take care of guys. So we're back out here today with the semi. We are currently mixing up some paint. It is a little windy today, so it's gonna fight us trying to get the paint on the back half of the frame. But since you guys have been gone, I did get all the new longer studs installed that are made for the aluminum wheels we're gonna be putting on the inside. And uh, this thing's all pretty much prepped and ready to go for paint. I've got it frame cleaned as much as possible. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna hop right to getting the paint mixed up. I already got pre-mixed implement paint for tractors. We're just gonna run a little bit of hardener and some reducer in it to thin it out and make it lay nice and pretty and gloss. So we're gonna be hitting the whole backside of the frame, getting tires bolted up on it with the new inner lug nuts. I got those in um, over the past couple days. You can see them right down there in that box. I got tons of new airline hoses right here we're gonna be putting on and lots of new engine belts we may or may not get on the day, but um, we've got those here and Iceman will be bringing out the other outside wheels and get those mounted also. So we're gonna get the whole back half of this freaking truck done today, guys. I'm so excited. So hold tight, we're gonna start making some paint. All right, guys, so I got my respirator on. We're gonna give this a try just to let you see how windy it is. You can see how much this uh, cardboard's moving and well, frankly, the trees. So I got this blocked off. There's no wind noise back in here. There's no wind right here. So I'm gonna have to paint this frame in small sections at a time and try to do my best. All right, guys, you've seen I mixed the paint up and the wind was absolutely terrible. So I wasn't even really able to set a camera up. We got the plywood put up there, but it didn't do much. But here it is, all painted black. It wasn't really fun to watch, so it took forever. But I didn't paint the drums because these parts were already painted, so I didn't really worry about those. We got all the frame painted inside and out. There's a couple spots I did miss, so I'm gonna have to get in there with a little spray paint can and paint them up. But this is good enough so that I can get the inner wheels all bolted up on the truck and we can start messing with the front axle and get the tires off there and check the brakes on it so that's what we're doing next i'm going to get these rear tires bolted up on it i'm waiting on ice man to get here he's going to polish the back of the tank since we're not going to be pulling pulling them off um he just wants to polish them while they're on the truck so we're going to let him polish the backs of them before we bolt the front set of wheels on and uh yeah so i'm going to get the uh camera set up and we're going to get them bolted on there Guys, I got the right rear wheel put on and a lot of you have been asking about changing studs and while we're doing it and what kind of lug nuts we're using so these inner studs are what the outer stud lug nut uses to hold the inner wheel on so by putting these on these hold the inner wheel on and then when the outter wheel goes on it slides over these big ones and the bigger lug nut so I'm gonna put all these on torque them all down and then we'll put the outer wheels on later on this evening when I get here and get them mounted to the rest of the tires over there so i gonna get all 10 of these babies put on snap on man should be here soon with my 13 16 square socket we'll get them tightened down and torqued down so guys i got the truck turned around i took a 13 16 wrench which is the size of these squares for the rears here and just tighten the crap out of two lug nuts to hold the rears on so we could let the axle down and get it turned around so i can get the front wheels off and check the brakes if they're okay we're not going to mess with those but i did lose a freaking <laughs> Break the problem over there. So I'm gonna get that in a little bit. But uh, my brother's on the way with the impact and socket for the front, but we got a wrench pulling the front tires off now. But I got a 20 ton bottle jack, put a piece of wood in the front axle, jack it up, get a couple jack stands put under it and check this side out and uh, go from there. But just gotta get this thing shut under right here. Hopefully I don't split this block of wood in half. Dang, this thing is freaking heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Come on. Here we go. Uh oh. Oh no not low enough hmm that's that's a problem so we got the bottle jack under there and got it yacked up i got the tire off of it and there's the front drum and hub and brake assembly and all these good things like that and now i'm trying to get this mother humper off Hold that this she's not wanting to budge It's a little cracked, but yeah, a little bit on there. But it's not worn bad. Shoes look good. They're not cracked. You know what's gonna happen? We're gonna put it back on <laughs> and put the hub back on. <laughs> this actually is pretty clean. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not even gonna touch it. We'll adjust them and uh, call it a day. But yeah, the hubs, the drums a little cracked, but that's normal. 
it's nice and smooth and it's not deep or anything. Yeah, I'll get them adjusted up and call it a day. Yeah, yeah they're not. There's that. Okay, so, uh, you gotta adjust them once the tire's on, so. Yeah, for the week. We'll see if this big tire's gonna fit. <laughs> the reason we don't know if they're gonna fit or not is because these are 11 R24s, they're not a metric tire. They are a lot of bunch bigger. I have to jack it up more, too. They beauties. Maybe we'll see. Anything well, down a little bit. Have to go up some, I think. Yep. <laughs> Just. Jack it up right there and hold the tire on for us. There we go. Oh, this thing's starting to look good already. That's a big tire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is so big. <laughs> oh my goodness. Aaron's on his way with the sockets. We'll just help get these things started. Yeah. Speaking of the devil, there's Aaron. Perfect timing. Good job, Aaron. Watch out, Trudy. You're going to get ran over. Really? The Mustang. You never know. What did you hear? Do something weird? Like, gay. <laughs> all right, Aaron's got all kinds of stuff for us in the car. Pop the trunk. Down the trunk. Oh. Are you gonna hang out for a little bit or what? Yeah. Open the door then, fool. You gotta figure it out. Hey, my man. My man. <laughs> so we got a half inch impact or one inch impact. We got an inch and a half socket and adapter. Heck yeah, now we're cooking with grace. I'm gonna tighten this baby brother. down. Little bigger brother. Little big brother? Yeah. You drinking a beer? Close enough. Cream soda? Yeah. <laughs> when I get pulled over with this, it's uh, not as bad. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see how this thing's gonna look. Ancient, but it still works better than anything else you got here. Yes. <laughs> Would've been nice to have a couple days ago, huh? Here, don't it? <laughs> oh yeah. Okay guys, so our torque wrench goes to 300 foot pounds, so we're gonna torque these all to 300 and then whenever Don gets back out here with all the correct tools. Oh, that's 300 there. Oh, somebody's on the airboat somewhere. Me super jelly right now. Uh, that's what that is. That noise you hear? Yeah. Yeah. yeah airboat. Uh, airboat planes and trains around here. Yeah, I don't know if that's an airboat, <laughs> but there's a uh, yellow cub flying over the highway with me going about 85. It said over torque. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
Oh, and dee 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 It's still, <laughs> still pissed off. Okay. Matt, if you're watching this video, I'm gonna be in Monday if you need a new torque wrench. Don't know why though. Uh. It looks so much better. I'm glad I got the big tires on it. What you think, Aaron? What you guys think? Let us know in the comments if you'd like the bigger tires on it. Well, everyone, I got this side off, pulled the brakes off. They look about the same as this side. Drum's a little cracked, but we can make do with it. I did go ahead and paint that center hub up, and I'm, I'm going to end up replacing the plastic cover for these oil bath axles and the plugs. It's hard as a rock. But for now, we're going to jack it up and get the other new wheel put on it. What do you say there, brother? I think we need to get her done. Get her done. All right. Got all that stuff put out of the way. We're getting so close. To think, only a couple more tires to mount too. Four more. <laughs> Shane, I have to jack it up some more. Sure. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Rut row, rut row, raggy. Gotta lean the top end first, I guess. Yeah. Can you get it under there? <laughs> grab that side, we'll slide her in there. There we go. Hard to do it. Damn, that thing's heavy as shit. Oh yeah, it's gonna go up a lot. <laughs> like an inch. I always knew you were a good jacker upper. Still? Yeah, oh yeah. Still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep it going. Almost. Nope, you're ready to die. <laughs> Check the fluid in that thing, man. You know, huh? <sighs> right. Look, it's going back up. <laughs> it's going back up. <laughs> A little bit, yeah. It got warmer, huh? Yeah, really. <laughs> All right, the man, the man just showed up, Iceman, guys. He brought us some wheels. He's got one outer wheel polished, so I'm gonna try to get that mounted up. My brother just went to go get a bud wheel socket, which has got a half inch or an inch and a half socket built into it also, so we can get the rest of these inner lug nuts tightened up and torqued down, and we're gonna get the outer wheels and tires put on it, maybe. Depending on what homeboy gets polished up. And uh, instead of polishing the backside of these tanks, we're just gonna paint them black because this tire's gonna be throwing crap on them anyways and getting dirty all the time. And then Ice Man's gonna polish everything else on the tank. So, yeah, they're on there. Time to pull it out front and get a thumbnail for you guys. You can click on the video later. Well, guys, we got the wheel out here. I, I thought you were gonna polish both sides. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we're gonna get this thing mounted on here. We got it soaked up, doped up, ready to go. Hey, watch out for that pry bar now. 
Oh, I know. You didn't hit me with it one time. You gotta start listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, thanks for answering my phone call. What do you want? No, nothing now. Aaron's Aaron's handling it. Jump up on it. <laughs> well, you got the moves, don't you? <laughs> Almost here. Yeah, let me hold that. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you hold. <laughs> other, wrong one. Other side. Other side. This side. Right here. There you go. You gotta turn it over there, brother. Let me try it. Let me put some weight on it. There we go. One side down. But uh, that, that's okay. I'll get it when I get to the house. There we go. So we got this tire mounted up. Let's see if she'll take some air. Uh, hey, Ick no. Hey, Ick no. Alright, that will. That'll be good. Yeah. Dang. That looks like I want to get dirty. No, but just put it on. Well, it's Calvin Klein. I ain't putting that on right now. <laughs> the heck? I bought it for you. I'm super dirty right now, babe. <laughs> so we got this tank taped off. We're going to paint the face of it here with some high temp high heat ultra oh yeah am i doing good so far yeah you gotta like put a light coat on it ice man's over here cringing watching me do this he's like give me that can of paint boy i know right yeah look Look pretty good. Yeah, you, yeah. you know what you're doing. <laughs> that makes it sticky. Yeah, yeah. So you said we couldn't get a tour of the old excursion over there because it's too dirty right now. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't trying to let, let people see my old girl dirty. <laughs> you look real bad right now. I'll catch him in the next video over there buffing it, see if we can get a, uh, a look at it. Yeah. I mean, all I got to do These is... tanks going to look good black, though, don't they? Oh, yeah. You might know what you're doing. Yeah, I try. Look at, look at this. Guys, look at... Baby. Not bad, not bad. So our tire's almost aired up over here. And then Aaron will be here any minute with a socket and impact stuff so we can get it mounted up. Custom so you got the polisher man, we got the meat man over here. Here's the meat master, <laughs> the meat slicer, the meat packer. <laughs> I heard Iceman the ship packer though. Mm. <laughs> I, did, I, did what. I ain't gonna say that. This is the mad scientist right here. <laughs> now he's gonna tell us the right way to polish it. Mm. You better watch out. <laughs> <laughs> Custom cuts, huh? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Freeney, what you laughing about? You got Iceman polishing from here to here. So when they're bolted up, you look inside her, you see a polished wheel. So we're getting there. Almost done. We let the fire burn all the plastic and crap we had laying around and the cardboard and junk. So she's going to town. Ready to peel this off? Mm -hmm. Woo! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Bang. Here we go. That don't look bad at all. Now, there won't be any rocks hitting polished aluminum, it'll just be metal, black aluminum. 
<laughs> okay guys so i got this tank painted even though it's dented we're not really too worried about it this is gonna be a work truck so i'm gonna peel the tape off of it oh baby well i don't want to polish the dents and the ends of it because the tires are gonna throw stuff on them who is it? Lover. Oh. Hello. Hello. <laughs> what time you want to take me to dinner? I don't know yet. It'd be a little bit. There we go. Boy, look at that tape job on that dent. Hey. Come, come, come over here and mess with it. You better not mess it up with your polishing. Dang. It's hard to get around all them bins. I might take some of it. We'll take this off. So little brother went to the snap-on truck for me and spent $300 on this little combo, which is a inch and a half socket and also a 13 16 square socket on the inside. So we're gonna run all these down. I'm gonna run them down with the breaker bar really freaking tight with a pipe on the end of it. And then we're gonna mount this one wheel up because that's all Iceman got done. Slacking. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna go from there. Here you go, little brother. Torque them down. Is that one of them wireless chargers you don't have to plug in the wall? Huh? Is that, that one of them wireless chargers you don't have to plug in the wall? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all done with this, brother? Well, looks, yeah, I gotta wipe it down. Looks good enough to me. Oh, shoot, I ain't no <sighs> You still recording? Mm -hmm. you got oh, here we go. See yeah, how she looks. I'm have to jack it up a little bit more, okay? Nope. It's already off the ground. Oh, okay. oh, before we get too far, try to get these freaking valve stems lined up. Yeah, you definitely want that. So that one's right here. This one's right here. So. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. You want them opposite of each other. You want offset? Yeah, opposite. Uh, opposite. Okay. Oh, you grab that side. You grab that side. Damn it. Damn it. Jack it up some here. I think we can jack it up a little bit. <laughs> Push it down now. <laughs> Spin it. <laughs> I wasn't expecting not to sit on the jack to lower Damn it. What in the heck? Yeah, Cali Wampers. Cali Wampers? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Too far. Well, folks, we got one tire mounted up. Two tire mounted Two. Well, yeah, on the back outer tire. One full tire set and then the other uh, halfway done. This thing looks mean. We got almost got the back half done, then maybe tomorrow. We'll see how tomorrow goes. We got here. Well, put tomorrow, the, belts. If the ice man gets it all done yeah, for we'll you. See. He might. If, if, if. I got faith in him though. Everybody's, everybody's rooting for him. Okay. No hot blast by y'all. All right, everyone. So I hope you enjoyed the video of us getting the other tires mounted, put on, painting the frame. We got so much done today. Tomorrow, I'll be uploading again tomorrow night, and hopefully every day next week until this baby is done and driving down the road. I've got to get the cab folded up tomorrow. Gonna get everything taped up. Get the engine taped up. We're gonna paint the entire rest of the frame, and then hopefully get all the other tires put on the rear. Get those torqued down, tightened down. And, uh, yeah, get this thing freaking done. We're so close. Oh, it looks so good, too. Comment down below and let me know what you guys are thinking about these open face sidewall tires, these big mud grips that are on it. Oh, man, I'm so excited. Iceman's bringing back the other three wheels that go on the outside. We're going to get those mounted up. He's also took home some other pieces of aluminum, like the handles to the side of the cab. 
He's gonna buff the whole cab out instead of just the stripes. We're gonna get all the aluminum put back on it and get this baby freaking done next week. So make sure you smash the like button. Go to brucewilsonshop.com. Grab your merch, diesel life stuff, all that good stuff. Comment down below and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to the channel, guys. I appreciate all the support and all the prayers you guys sent our way for the family emergency I had going on this week. And thank you all for coming back to the channel, even though we were out for like three or four days. And we'll catch you guys later. Peace out. Tell me I'm not